So recently I've been doing some reviews on a company out of Turkey called Sarsalmaz, SAR USA. Okay, I did the SAR9, really impressive. The SAR9X, um, the K12. What I have here is the last that I have currently for the pistols review. This is a compact, this is the B6. C, the B6, I think, you know, is another one kind of like the SAR9, widely used by law enforcement and military. Anyway, what I want to do is I want to put this through kind of the test, try some different ammos, try some different ranges, you know, back here at the CQB range. But I'm going to first zero it and test it out at 50. We'll give it a shot at 100. Anyway, check it out. I'm Drew Case, welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. So, like I said, I've been doing some reviews on the SAR USA pistols. Um, what I've got here is the B6C Compact. You know, first thing I notice out of the box, you know, it, let's just do a quick out of the box. Let me show you the features on the specs and tech. Check it out. Okay, so we're going to do the quick out-of-the-box SAR USA B6C, the compact. Comes with the usual instruction manual, cable lock, sticker. We've got a couple of cleaning supplies in case you don't have those. We've and then the gun itself. The B6C is 13 round mags. Let me tell you, that spring is tight. You will not be able to load this by hand. Those that... Don't use something like the Uplula. You're definitely gonna want the Uplula. You're gonna break your fingers. Okay, so the compact version, you know, we've got mag release, slide release, which is not ambidextrous. We do not have an ambidextrous safety. We do not have Picatinny rails. We do have chamber indicator. Breakdown is gonna be similar to some of the other ones, okay? Double check and make sure empty discharge. We've got the two dots here. We simply line those up and then we're going to push this in. And this one actually goes a little easier than some of them. I was able anyway to get it with my finger. Okay, there I got it. And then this just wiggles out. Slide comes off. We're disassembled. Got a nice stainless steel barrel. I almost forgot to mention, we do have a nice heavy stainless steel guide rod. We just slide in here. Get those dots lined up. And that goes back in. Trigger pull on this is nice. It's a consistent five and a half pounds. One thing that I really do like about this is the double action. So we get the first pull, a little bit of travel, fairly clean break. Okay. But let's say we have a light primer strike. Maybe we're shooting some steel cased hard primer. We can go back and pull for a second and a third time. My experience is, is often on a second or a third, it will discharge and it saves you from having to do a quick eject. And I'm just kind of old fashioned, I like hammers. I like hammers because I can have something in the chamber and I can have the hammer down and then I can just pull the hammer back like my 1911. As far as the mag release here, we do have scallops on both sides, should the mag, for whatever reason, be tough, it gives you something to grab on. The grip now, as far as the grips go, I don't like these near as much as I do the other. You know, they've got some texturing. I just don't find it particularly comfortable in my hand. It kind of flares down here and having small hands, not a real good fit for me. We've got a real curved trigger here. The other thing is, is as far as thumb placement on either side, we don't have any kind of texturing or shelves or any place that's really comfortable. I can't find 
a really comfortable place to put my thumb other than to rest it here. I usually like to have it up here on the slide, but this plastic here gets in the way and I really can't get my thumb up here on the safety to use that as a rest, at least not comfortably. The slide itself is, is kind of sexy, streamlined cut. Our sights are metal, non-adjustable for elevation. I'm gonna assume that we can adjust this just old school with a little bit of tap to the left or the right for windage. Okay, so we're doing my typical 50 yard right out of the box. Yeah, I'm shooting with a compact at 50 because I wanna see what kind of groups I can get because if I get solid groups here, it's gonna tell me exactly where I'm gonna be at when I'm shooting close quarters. Anyway, that's kind of the sight picture. Um, you know, first thing right off the bat, this has got a lot more recoil than all the other SARS that I've shot. I'm using their ammo. Let's just go take a look and see what kind of group we got. Hey, that's a, that's a pretty acceptable group from 50 yards right out of the box with a compact. I'm happy with that, guys. I'm really happy with that. Haven't seasoned the barrel. Don't plan on seasoning the barrel. I'm not going to do it with a compact. I'm not going to do anything with the sights. Let's just have some fun on some steel here at 50. We'll even try down there at 100. And I can already tell you, this is not going to be comfortable for me. There's this ledge right here that is hitting right there on my thumb. And once I go st start getting in, you know, doing some rapid shooting and getting up there in rounds, that's going to really bother my thumb. The slide release with my hands, that's a bit of a stretch. It's not in a comfortable position. Pretty light trigger pull. That really is bothering my thumb. I'm gonna have to move my hand down or something here so that my thumb's not hitting that. really really do not like this plastic ridge here for me personally i can already tell you that's going to take this out of the running for me okay so as far as accuracy and groups you know really can't complain i, I was impressed at what it was doing at 50. you know the whole thing though with the ergonomics and you know this plastic ridge here was really not feeling very good on my hand. The grips are. Fortunately for me today, it is cold outside. So I've got some gloves on. We're gonna see if that negates that. I don't know that that's gonna change my mind as far as the ergonomics and the feel of this. But anyway, what I wanna do here is start running through some of SARS ammo because they do recommend their ammo, but like I've seen on all the others, it ate up and spit out anything I put in it. Let's get to work. Okay, so back here at the CQB range, I just want to test a variety of ammo. And to make sure we don't have any kind of hiccups, jams, light primer strikes with some of the steel cased and just some of the other common ones. We've got 147 grain here. Sometimes this gives stuff a bit of a trouble because it's, it's almost like a wad cutter. Anyway, let's just get started on this. Okay, so we'll just start off here up close. You know, we did the 50. Let's just see how it does. Uh, 
And I can say with gloves on, it's not bothering my hand whatsoever. Okay, so now this is gonna finish that 50 round box of the SAR ammo. What I wanna do is I wanna try this one handed when I was doing the 50 yard zero. I did notice this felt like it had a lot more recoil than, than the other SAR USA pistols. So let's just see what we can do. Uh, and you can watch those other videos and compare. Now, like I made note in the specs and tech, I can't reach the slide release with my thumb. That's uh, yeah, that's a pain in the ass for me because I'm gonna have to reach up here and get it with this hand, which you know may not be a big deal. I will say that it is harder to keep this on target and get a sight picture than it was some of the other ones. Hey folks, if you're enjoying this review, do you follow my channel? Would you be willing to help support the channel if it costs you nothing, not a zip, zero? Hit that subscribe button. That does as much as anything, so hit that button. I just got a new webpage, Home of the Crazy Stupid Deals. You have to check it out. You will be shocked to see some of the deals that I find. You can now subscribe to be notified immediately when I find them. Costs you nothing. I did this for those of you that don't like Facebook. If you do follow Facebook, come check me out and follow me there too. If you ever shop on Amazon, simply go in through my links below in the description. Anything and everything you purchase helps support the channel. Going through my links and it costs you nothing. You can literally buy toilet paper and this helps support the channel. Check out my company picks, the companies I purchase most often from and find most of my crazy stupid deals on. Using these links supports the channel and keeps the reviews coming. While you're there, check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself what folks are saying about them. Bottom line, check out my webpage. Lots of good stuff there, and doing so helps support the channel. Thanks for your support. I couldn't do this without you. Okay, so being that this is essentially a concealed carry or you know a self-defense weapon, I want to try some of my Fiocchi hollow points. That's something that everybody always wants to know is how does it do with hollow points. Let's just find out. Not bad. Now, I can say, too, I'm not having great luck reaching over here and pushing this. It doesn't stick out enough for my hands, but again, I got small hands when I can reach it. It is dropping. Another thing, though, that I'm not super excited okay, about. So when I was getting a zero to 50, you know, I was complaining kind of about this ridge here. So I went ahead and took my glove off just to see, you know, if it was maybe a one-time thing. We're going to test some American Eagle here. Let's give this a go. It wasn't a one-time thing. You can see here, my hand is hitting this. This is this is a ridge. This is elevated. This is a serial number. I really don't know why this is put here. This, in my opinion, is the absolute worst place to put this along with this plastic ridge. So no, I'm gonna put my glove back on because it is not comfortable shooting this with my hands. I got small hands. I don't know if it's an issue for others, but for me, like I said earlier before, that's gonna be a deal breaker for me. Okay, so I've got these 147 grain. Okay, they're almost like wad cutters. Let's just see how these do. I have had these cause issues with several guns in the past. And again, can't reach that. Okay, I've got some gecko here. I have great luck with this, with accuracy. I'm gonna reach out here to 25. I'll move you over here so you can see a little bit better. See now, 
Yeah, boy, it's got a long, long reset, and I'm missing that. And then, of course, you're seeing a little bit of flinching. With this long reset, yeah, you have seen some flinching. Hey, you know, what can I say? It is what it is. But anyway, the good thing is, is what that's telling me is, at least for me, the reset on this is way too long because I'm missing some shots because it hasn't come all the way out. So I guess, hey, in this case, there was an upside, you know, the flinching, because it pointed out the long reset, at least for me on this. Getting down to the bottom, what I want to do is we save the best for last. I got some Wolf Military Classic, you know, Russian steel case, notoriously hard primer strikes, etc. Let's Let's see how it does over here. There's that reset. This double action. Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I don't like the trigger on this. Okay, last, Tula, steel cased. Let's see how this does. <laughs> okay, mechanical functioning, no problems. It ate up everything we put in it, no issues, no light primer strikes. It ate the Wolf and the Tula. Granted, you know, that wasn't the most extensive study. Um, bottom line, guys, this is not something that I particularly like. It is not ergonomic. It is not comfortable for me to shoot. The trigger, <laughs> you saw uh, some flinch in there. The trigger, the reset, um, it just doesn't transition well for me. It doesn't shoot well for me. And those thinking, you know, maybe he's just not a good shot. Watch some of the other videos. You know, I'm not a bad shot. Anyway, okay, guys, there you go. It is the SAR B6C. Um, yeah, it, it's not my favorite, okay? The, the trigger, the long reset was giving me problems on there. It was bringing out that I've got some flinching to work on. Uh, but, you know, it, it wasn't even coming all the way out, and I was pulling the trigger again, and it hadn't reset. It's not comfortable. The ridges here, they rub on my hand. The slide release, anyway, for me personally, that's my thoughts. It is what it is. You decide what you think. Hopefully you found this helpful. Be sure to like, comment, and sub. Until next time, guys, happy shooting. Remember, educate our young people to guns and gun safety and be a safe and responsible gun owner.